This summer, they're coming. In another movie where aliens destroy New York and Bruce Willis saves the day, be prepared for... Nah, I don't do that Hollywood film preview voice very well. Et je vois rien avec ces lunettes 3D. Attends. That's better. Welcome to Speak English with Christina. L'anglais fun, fluent et facile. It's summer, which means Hollywood has been putting out their annual batch of blockbusters, including movies like Finding Dory, Tarzan, and something crazy called Sausage Party. Je veux même pas savoir de quoi il s'agit. Non. So, this week, you're going to learn vocabulary for talking about movies in English. You ready? In summer, Hollywood puts out a lot of blockbusters. Blockbusters. Movies with budgets the size of an economy of a small country, like uh, this year, Independence Day, or in the past, Titanic. I'm the king of the world! Sans les effets spéciaux, ça fait moins bien quand même. That's another part of big blockbusters, special effects. Special effects. Sorry to disappoint you, but all of those explosions in New York City or when aliens invade California, that's just special effects. Ah! Oh, oh. Ça fait un peu David Pujadas avec Jurassic Park si vous avez vu sur uh, France Télévision. Cherchez sur Internet, vous verrez. C'est aussi bien que moi. <laughs> if a film is really a hit, Hollywood might make a sequel. And a hit, a hit is a very popular movie. And a sequel is basically where they try to recreate the success of the original blockbuster, but it's usually a flop. A flop is a movie that does really, really bad financially. Like the 2016 Bill Murray movie, Rock the Casbah. Cost $15 million to produce, made less than $3 million. That's a huge flop, a huge flop. What, you've... Never heard of Rock the Casbah? Honestly, me neither, until I did research for this video. Now, not all Hollywood movies have a lot of special effects, explosions, zombies, or aliens. Now, I'll admit, I like animated movies. Animated movies like Toy Story or Arthur and the Minimoys. They're fun and they're not just for kids. Like, like Shrek. It's for adults too. It's for adults too, right? Admit it. You like watching animated movies with your kids. Except maybe Frozen? La Reine des Neiges, Frozen, just because that stupid song gets stuck in your head. Yeah, you know that one. Let it go, let it go. De rien. You'll have that in your head all day. Sorry. Or maybe you prefer thrillers and horror movies like Friday the 13th and The Conjuring 2. If the movie is a bloodbath, a bloodbath, un bain de sang, like Friday the 13th, uh -uh. 
But if it's a creepy paranormal movie like The Conjuring, tu as peur? Non, non, pas trop. Hein. Ouais. Je fais pas des films d'horreur. Anyway. The Conjuring 2, that's also a sequel. Like we said, a sequel, a second movie on the same theme as the first movie. A bit like Fast and Furious 2 and 3. And Fast and Furious 4, Fast and Furious 5. Okay, okay, Fast and Furious is really more like a series now, but with a two hour episode that comes out once a year. Yeah. Mm. Of course, there are also easy types of movies because they're similar to French movies like comedies, dramas, but those are easy. And there are also crime movies, crime movies, and police movies, police movies. And Roman's favorite type of movie, romantic comedies. Il va me tuer. Yeah. Romantic comedies like The Holiday, Bridget Jones, Love Actually, and you can also call these movies chick flicks, chick flicks, but some people find this not very nice. Uh, okay, some people find it a little offensive because chick is slang for a woman and flick is slang for a movie. So chick flick a movie for women, but of course romantic comedies are not only for women. And also with just with the flicks thing, like net flicks, because it's movies, flicks, movies that you get on the internet. Net, internet, flicks, movies, Netflix. Just so you know. And just so that you also know that you can say chick flick to describe a romantic comedy, but just be careful. Now, what about you? What's your favorite movie? And do you know the title in English? If it's an American or an English movie? Tell us about the movie in the comments. And if you have a special French film that you would recommend for me, tell me in the comments. Et on passe en français pour la fin. Avant de partir, ce serait chouette si tu pouvais m'aider à rendre l'anglais fluent, fun et facile pour tes collègues et tes amis. Partage cette vidéo avec eux sur LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter ou par mail. Et si tu ne fais pas déjà partie de mes Speak English Ambassadors, bah viens avec nous sur christinarebuffet.com. What are you waiting for? Inscris-toi et je t'enverrai une nouvelle leçon chaque semaine pour que tu puisses booster facilement ton anglais avec moi, petit à petit. Thank you so much for boosting your English with me. I'm Christina and I'll see you next time.